Let, let me begin by asking you the question that, that everyone wants to know. How long is it going to take to make this vaccine? At this initial stage, it's very hard to predict the timelines. But what we can say, which is important, a typical vaccine takes about 10 years or more to develop. But we have a jump start here because we have experts in-house, we have technologies in-house, we have an infrastructure that we've put in place around our dengue vaccine that we can tap into very quickly, which will hopefully take years off the typical timeline. And we do have a sense of urgency, and that's because of the uh, emergency declared by the WHO. What does having all the experience and knowledge with uh, a vaccine for dengue fever, what advantage does that give you in researching and finding a vaccine for Zika virus? Well, in practical terms, it means that you've got the experts already engaged, that you can very quickly pull together to design experiments, to design uh, the preclinical work that needs to be done. Then we've got an enormous established surveillance in countries where Zika is already uh, clearly an issue. So we can go to those clinical studies, we can adapt them, and with permission, begin to look carefully at what's happening with the Zika virus. And lastly, we have a manufacturing capability and infrastructure that we can adapt to produce the vaccine far quicker than normal. So all of that expertise practically means we can move quickly. And the similarities between dengue and Zika, what are they? And, and, and again, how does that play into the advantage you have here? Well, the viruses, when you look at the genetic code, are about 60% similar, so they're close cousins. And we can take advantage of that. But on the other side of the coin, that also adds complexity when you think about the serological assays that we need to use to detect the virus. So we can take advantage of those similarities, but we also need to develop new techniques in order to distinguish them, particularly during an infection. One of the things about dengue fever, I, I saw this in a speech you gave, um, you said every year 2.3 billion people, I believe, are exposed to dengue fever. Could the number exposed to Zika virus grow to that number? The spread of Zika is a frightening event. The mosquito that carries both dengue and Zika is extremely efficient. It's very adapted to the urban environment. It lives extremely well in your home. And we've seen dengue now in over 100 countries around the world. That's why I think the WHO is being precautionary and saying Zika could spread. As a scientist, I think it's quite prudent to predict that Zika will continue to spread around the world, 30 countries today, and that number could increase significantly. When the World Health Organization declares an emergency like this, how does that help you deliver a vaccine quicker? It's very important because it allows us to galvanize resources. It allows us to make the case, the clinical case and the medical case, to move forward.